The All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party in separate statements accused each other of perpetrating the violence which led to the attack on some persons and the destruction of vehicles. In a statement titled, APC Thugs Desecrated Our Palace Grounds, It Was Political Mutiny, APC sponsors attempt to eliminate entire leadership of PDP and elected governors, signed by the PDP National Vice Chairman South South Dan Obi. The PDP accused the APC of sponsoring hoodlums to attack its campaign council at the Palace of the Oba of Benin. In a separate statement titled, APC condemns Sunday's violence at PDP's Edo State Governorship Campaign, signed by the Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the APC, Yakini Nabena in Abuja. The APC condemned the violence. Nabena said disturbing images and reports of the destruction of property and violence meted out on hapless victims during the PDP campaign in Benin City on Sunday was a glimpse into the do-or-die plot the PDP plans to unleash in the lead-up to the September 19th governorship election. We have uh, one of the candidates, Mabel Obo of the African Democratic Congress. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, the election is almost here, and there's you know, a lot of concerns about violence rising. How can stakeholders work together to ensure a violence-free election? Well, um, the security agency in Edo State is already doing that. We, you know, we've attended several meetings, and they've emphasized the need, uh, you know, for us to have a free and fair election. But um, what I actually also think that um, the security agency should do more, and um, probably, you know, um, put some rules and regulations down. And, for example, saying that if anybody that gets himself involved in any, you know, violent um, election, they'll be disqualified. I think that's what should, be, it should happen. Um, African Democratic uh, Congress, we are very peaceful, and we do not condone anything that is violent whatsoever. And um, the security agencies, they are doing their best, but they should do more. All right. Uh, do you also see the possibility of all parties, including yourself, signing a peace pact ahead of the polls? Um, and of course, if yes, do you also expect you know commitment from all the parties? Yes, we, you know, as ADC, as a party, we are very, very committed. You know, we believe that um, election is not a do or die affair. You know, what we are there for is to sell our mandate to the people. And, you know, once they believe in us, they will elect us saying there's no need for violence. You know, the violence we're talking about, everyone knows the quarters that this violence is coming from. And it's not that the security agencies don't know. So they should, you know, really do something about it. Okay. And they are trying, they are calling us to meetings, as I said earlier on, but I think there should be a cap on the whole thing. You know, if any party knows that the minute they get themselves involved in anything that is violent, they will get, get disqualified. I think that would make them behave themselves. Okay, and, and how do you also think the media can help uh, to engender a violence-free election in Edo State? I think, you know, really, um, this time around, I must, you know, uh, praise the media. The media are doing very, very well. They are making sure they are covering everything. And because at the end of the day, it's the media that brings, you know, what is happening, you know, to the people. And also, I will appeal to the media to give every participant in this election you know, a chance to express themselves, which I know that they are doing now. And then also, if they do know anything, they should also expose it. But I must give a thumbs up for the media as we are going now. All right. It's also interesting, you know, you are the lone female candidate um, in this, you know, race. <laughs> what would you say is the role of women in ensuring also violence-free exercise? This time around, I believe that the women should not take a back seat. You know, it is time for women to come out and do something about this election, and mostly at those states. And that is why I am there. To begin with, the women are the um, front runners of their own home. I believe that if every mother you know, get involved and let their children know that they should not get involved in any violence, educate them, know that the, what the election is all about is for their own future. It's not for them to go receive patents, little money, 
and get to kill themselves, I believe you know things would you know go further. So women have a lot to do, a, a big role to play in this election. The same way they are the home front of their homes, they should be the home front of this election. And as I keep saying to every woman in the state, you know, traditionally I say, bring out your rapper. It is time for us to fight. The fight is a physical fight. It's for us to let the people know that the men in Edo State are fighting. There's eagles and whatever what have you flying around. It is time for the women to bring the men and the children, you know, together. And this election is a time for women to prove that they are very, very important in society, to make sure that they talk to their children and so that this election will be fair and violence free. Mabel Obo, thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. Thank you very much.